Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Taste Happy. I'm Ben. This is my gardening table. I use this to plant out my seedlings. Now it's the end of September, and most people are thinking, why are you starting seedlings now? Well, let me tell you. I've got this little greenhouse. It extends my summer by probably two or three months. I live in Northern Virginia where it's been 90 the last couple of days. Um, I'm planting out winter veg, so Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, spaghetti squash, butternut squash, and pumpkins. They all take about two weeks to germinate. And then once they're germinated, I'm gonna probably give them about three to four inches and they're gonna get planted out in the garden. Uh, the dogs do a good job of keeping out the pests. Um, but it's just, it's just something I enjoy doing. Even if these vegetables don't come to anything, spending the day planting them makes a difference to how I feel. So I think we're just gonna crack on. Woo! All right, so I've got my five basically different varieties ready to plant out. I've got my notebook here, but I don't forget what they are. I'm gonna do spaghetti squash. I'm gonna do butternut, pumpkin, buttercup, and parsnips. All right. So now that I have it written down, I'm not gonna forget which is which. Now, so we're gonna go with the spaghetti squash. I've just finished putting the seeds into the seed tray. We've watered them, covered in soil. Um, I have pumpkins, butternut, buttercup squash, spaghetti squash, and I put in some leeks, because I just like leeks. Um, they're gonna stay up here for two weeks until they germinate, maybe even up to a month until I feel like they're hardy enough to go out into the garden. The garden hasn't been looked over for a week or two, so it's a bit of a mess. So, guess what? We're gonna go work on the garden. Let's head out there. This is my garden. Um, it's a big one. It's hard to take care of by myself. I try to manage. As you can tell, I haven't really done a great job managing it in the last couple of weeks. I've got 18 inch tall grasses. and a bunch of caterpillars at the bottom of them. I started this project a couple months ago. I knew that I wasn't actually gonna fill up the entire space with just vegetable gardening. So I planted a ton of wild meadow flowers. It's great for pollinators. I've never been in this garden and not seen a butterfly or a bee or just anything sort of bouncing from flower to flower to flower, which is, as a gardener, is kind of nice to see other things than people enjoying the garden. As you can tell, there's a cat that loves being in here, chasing little voles and tiny mice and getting a source of protein, I probably imagine. Uh, the nice thing is I get a few surprises every now in the garden. I've got spare tomato plants growing out of nowhere. What I do know that I have in the garden is tomatoes. I've got watermelon, Swiss chard, cherry tomatoes. I've got burdock growing randomly. I know it's a weed, but I'm gonna let it grow and see what I can do with the root. Artichoke, banana peppers, some spare carrots. I'm gonna put that in the basket. I found this watermelon underneath the tomato plant. That was kind of strange. So what I'm gonna do tonight is see what I can cook up out of the garden. I've got tomatoes and watermelon and a couple of banana peppers. So I'm thinking a gazpacho. Uh, maybe just a watermelon and tomato salsa. Uh, let's get picking, let's see what we have. Still good. Twist off the vine. That one is golden. That one's down there. That one's got a hole in it. We'll let that drop off and maybe seed. 
This is covered in flowers, but I don't actually see a tomato on it. Just a couple of these really big ones. I'm gonna leave the rest. I'm gonna leave the rest on there. I'm gonna gather them probably sometime this week and try to pickle some green, some green peppers and some green tomatoes. All right, let's get cooking. So I've got this, I've got a bowl for the salsa, got carrot, I've got my watermelon knife. Come on over here, I got this watermelon. I like a bit of crunch in my salsa, so I don't mind putting celery or carrots or anything like that in. Also save these, these are really good for your compost or like we have, we have horses. This might not be the best knife for this. You get to see my beautiful chefing skills. Yeah, this is definitely the wrong knife. I'll be back and this is a great knife for cutting melons, but I'm gonna go actually get a good knife. I've got the chicken. Just gonna let that get up to heat. Much better. I'm not, I'm not the best chef ever. I'm just also letting you know I don't pretend to be. I just like, when I make salsa, I don't mind putting carrots in it because you get them all different sizes and you just crunch the stuff out of them until they look like different shapes than they were when you first had them. Into the bowl. All right. Okay, so I've got the fire up. I've got the salsa started. Um, I'm gonna start cooking these. So I've got some mesquite wood chips as well. Just chuck it in there. They're seasoned with a jambalaya sauce, and then we're gonna have this this salsa to go on it. But it is really nice just having that mesquite smell coming through. So this this salsa is gonna double. I'm gonna put some of it on the chicken when it's done, and then we do have some tortilla chips lying around, so we may just eat it. I've got so many tomatoes this year. I have no idea what to do. I mean, these tomatoes are so fresh and so ripe. Once it's done, I'm gonna I'm gonna run my hand sort of through it and not just sort of mix it together, but actually squeeze the tomato down. And you know what I'm gonna do? Since I've got them here, pull the tops off of these. I'm actually just gonna roast these tomatoes. That was not good. Sprinkle a bit of seasoning on. See what I mean? Actually just squeeze the juices out of the tomatoes. A little bit of that chicken seasoning in here. Now it is officially time for the milk. Beautiful. Oh, and it's warm? That's even warm. I guess the fire was kicking off some heat, so it's warmed up a little bit. I'm gonna leave half of this for the horses, and actually for another trick I'm gonna try later. That's some good melon. There's a lot of seeds in it though. I'll open up the jets a little bit so that these four chicken thighs that are left are just getting pure fire. Oh. So I made the mistake of thinking that this was a seedless watermelon. It is not. So I'm not making a watermelon salsa. I've just got another, I've just got tomato salsa with some carrots 
and some banana peppers. This is my secret salsa seasoning. Just throw that in. About a tablespoon of that. Mix it all together. I'm gonna throw one, two, three onto the plates. And then just a handful of salsa on top. And it's not the neatest thing, but I mean, for what I'm doing right now, I'm gonna have one, two, three, and four thighs. I'm gonna give Dora a fourth thigh as well, put it on top to hide the salsiness of it. One, two, three underneath. Handful of salsa, because I'm such a good chef like that. Then boom, put it right on top. Hey honey, dinner's ready. I'm just gonna bring this to her. It's gonna be a big old messy surprise, but she loves me, so it doesn't matter. A sunset dinner, chicken, homemade salsa. Yeah, I did it right. Thanks for watching Taste Happy.